Now the cleanup begins. Organizations across the country, including right here in Connecticut, working to help those disaster victims. News ace Natasha Lubchenko joining us live in studio. With more on that, good Tasha, good morning. Keith, Laura, good morning to you both. Well, right now, two organizations with Connecticut ties already on the ground in Florida. Another sending a crew today. The American Red Cross and the Salvation Army have people in the central part of the state to help with immediate emergency needs. And AmeriCare says it will be deploying staff members sometime today. So we'll be following that closely. The Red Cross, though, says its main mission is to shelter and feed people. They are already helping at emergency centers down there. The CEO of the the Connecticut Red Cross says they have about three dozen Connecticut people helping with the aftermath, both of Helene and Milton, including himself. The Salvation Army helping people with food and hydration. We are told they have more people on the way. And they say their services go beyond taking care of just the physical needs. Take a listen. I have trained staff members who are tra trained specifically in emotional, spiritual care. And from my past experiences getting to deployed to disasters, Sometimes people, they just, they just want to talk. And right now, there are just under 3 million homes and businesses still without power. Governor Ned Lamont says Eversource standing by to help. We'll hear more about that and how the Connecticut National Guard, National Guard also helping coming up at 630. For now in the studio, I'm Natasha Lubchenko. I'll send it back over to you guys. Okay.